Stand where the whole battle can see you. Strike so they never forget. Anafensa, Khan of the Absan. How's it going, everybody? My name is Josh from Elder Drunken Highlander, and this is our deck tech video for Elephant Combo, a high-powered green-white artifact storm deck that I bet you can't say five times fast. This deck was the first thing I thought of when Hamza got spoiled. Sorry, Elephant Tribal. And I've been working on it ever since. It is a lot of fun to play, and rather unique for a storm deck in these colors. The closest approximation of this build is something like Animar, or more accurately, one of the other it's like Animar except type of builds that you'll see floating around from time to time. Elephant Combo looks to take advantage of Hamza's cost reduction ability in combination with colorless creatures, mostly artifacts, that enter the battlefield with counters on them already. With enough of these counter creatures on the board, all our colorless costed creatures become free spells. This allows us to manually draw our entire deck in one turn using cards like the Guardian Project and Beast Whisperer. We win either by looping Seasons Past, blowing everyone out with Finale Devastation and or Astral Steel, or by attacking with a massively oversized army fueled by Cathar's Crusade. This is our main elephant 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 why the f did I do this to myself? Elephant combo. This is our main elephant combo that we use to win. F how we win though isn't as important as how we get there. Let's look at what it takes to begin our elephant combo. As per usual for a high powered EDH deck, you need to ramp early. We have mana dorks and also two mana green ramp spells such as Rampant Growth in order to help us get started. Look to keep hands that can accelerate you a little bit and have either one of our draw engines or a tutor that can fetch one. Once we have our mana set up, we want to get our draw effect down quickly. Although it isn't always feasible, it is ideal to get our draw engine out before we cast Hamza just to maximize efficiency and draw from as many creatures as possible. From there, we want to start playing creatures with counters, which make our other creatures with counters cheaper. We draw a card every time we cast one of those creatures, so after a turn or two, we usually have accrued significant card advantage. Or we just draw like six lands in a row. It's happened before. Use cards like Gavany Township, Cathar's Crusade, Heliod, Extruder, and Idyllic Grange to get counters on creatures that don't enter with them already. The Grange is especially F. Elif. I. Saying Elephant Combo has actually got me tongue twisted. I should rename this deck. The Grange is especially good because it can be tutored off of a fetch land. Even when we already have enough counter creatures on the board, these cards can be useful with things like Mindless Automaton and Crystalline Crawler. Usually, once we manage to get four creatures with counters on them, we can begin to storm off. There are numerous ways we can do this. The easiest is just spamming Ancestral Statue in true green-white Animar fashion. The statue can return itself, so you can just cast it for free to draw a card as many times as you need. Another way is looping Me Retriever and Friends. With two Retriever effects, we can sack one creature to return the other and continue to generate infinite storm and draw that way. We have numerous sack outlets to achieve this. Arcbound Reclaimer can also be used in similar loops with stuff like Cathar's Crusade, an Extractor, or another modular creature along with a draw engine. We can also just storm manually by digging through our library and spam casting all the creatures we find. Usually we need two draw engines in order to achieve this. It's not impossible without them, but it's very unlikely. Once we present our storm combo, assuming the table doesn't scoop because they don't want to sit through you manually resolving a bunch of spells, there are a few ways we can win. The simplest way is Heliod and Walking Ballista, which we aren't going to talk about anymore because it's boring. The second way is by generating infinite mana and casting Walking Ballista for X equals a bazillion. We can do this with Kirk Clan Ironworks or Astronaut's Altar and our Mirror Retriever combo. We can also cast Finale of Devastation for X equals bazillion too if we want to mix it up. The third way is via combat damage such as the aforementioned finale, as well as casting a little known storm card, Astral Steel, or relying on a really big team via Cathar's Crusade. The final and coolest way to win is our namesake Elephant Combo. I said it right that time, let's go. You see, this secretly is an elephant tribal deck. We just gift all the elephants to our opponents. How generous of us. Let's get combo looted and break this combo down right in the middle of our deck tech. Start with infinite mana, no library remaining, and a draw engine. Your storm combo should get you there pretty easily. Now, cast Generous Gift, targeting one of your opponent's lands. They get an elephant, see? 
Tribal. Now, cast Seasons Pass from your hand. Return Gift and some other things, I guess. Seasons Pass resolves and shuffles into your library, making itself the only card. Cast a creature, or use Mindless Automaton or something to draw it. Now, recast the pass and return Gift again. Kill another permanent. Once everything has been replaced with a beautiful elephant, start returning Path to Exile. Or should I say, Seasons Path to Exile. Haha. <laughs> no. Alright, sorry, sorry. Exile the elephants you just made using your path. If someone is dumb enough to opt in to the May Search for a Land part, punish their hubris by turning it into another elephant, and then exile that too. That will show them. Once this loop is complete, your opponents will have nothing on the board, and you will have one card left in your library that you can repeatedly put back. You can also prevent yourself from drawing out using Abundance, since it replaces your draw. Now just pass turn and attack freely until everyone dies. That's it. That's our whole elephant combo. Easier said than done, surprisingly. As for weaknesses, we're actually really vulnerable to having Hamza or one of our draw engines countered or removed. Big surprise. If this becomes an issue in your meta, you might want to run things like Veil of Summer, Savage Summoning, Heroic Intervention, or any of the other myriads of white spells that grant protection from colors and indestructible. Notable inclusions. These are the five groupings of cards that I chose to showcase for this deck listed in no particular order. Astral Steel. This card is in here because a certain other storm outlet that's very popular is a little boring in my opinion and isn't really necessary in this deck. We have this super janky card because it basically does the same thing, kinda sorta not really for us, and it seems like a lot more fun to cast. Who needs a dumb water tower full of mana anyway? The Great Henge. This card just does everything we want. Draws cards and puts counters on stuff. Fairly costed with Hamza out too. Scrapyard Recombiner. Turns out a lot of our good creatures are constructs and he can sack himself to donate his counters to another creature. Neat. Fetch lands. We all know they are good for mana fixing and quote unquote deck thinning, but they can also grab our Dryad Arbor and Idyllic Grange, which is the main reason we run them. Extruder. Sacrifice an artifact. Check. Put a counter on a creature. Check. Is a colorless creature. Check. Yep, it all checks out. This card is everything this deck has ever wanted. Echo is negligent, because usually by the time we cast this guy, we're either already going to win or no longer need our mana. Notable Exclusions These are cards that you should consider for your version of the deck, but we left out for various reasons. Let's start with the elephant in the room. I'm not running Aetherflux Reservoir. Would this card be better than Astral Steel? Oh, most definitely. I just have plenty of other decks that win with the Flux, and I think Storming Off is, quite frankly, the lamest use for it. You can add it if you actually want to win more or something, I guess? I don't know. Fast mana. I felt this deck can't really cut it as a fringe CEDH deck, so I didn't see the need to play the mana rocks to get it to that point. Why play a $2,000 deck when it's only going to be slightly better than this $500 deck? Eldrazi Titans. While they do get my inner Timmy Moto running, I feel like they don't do anything to help us storm off, and they require a mighty, mighty cost reduction in order to seem worthwhile. Steel Overseer. Initially, I was excited to run this card, but testing showed that he was too slow, and most of my artifact creatures come in with counters anyway. Sad. Wild Growth and Utopia Sprawl. These are great ramp cards, but I chose to include Mirror over them, since Mirror can trigger our draw engine, be free spells, and I just really like Mirror. Shoutouts to all my Mirror lovers out there. Board Wipes. Seems like a card you would only want to cast while losing. We need our board. Power Level. This is a high power deck. It can present fast wins around turns 5 to 7 and has multiple tutorable infinite combos. Despite not running CEDH level fast mana, it can still reliably get to the resources it needs to win, and Storm is a powerful archetype that is hard to get working at low power levels anyway. This could probably be tuned up to the tuned high power level, but doing so would quadruple the cost of the deck. Not worth it in my opinion. It is very fun to play, as is. All in all, Elephantic Combo is an artifact-based creature storm deck that is capable of drowning your opponents in value and also 3-3 elephant tokens. It can pop off quickly with its ramp and mana dorks, and its cost reduction means that as long as you have Hamza, you will always be able to cast your creatures. Hamza himself is very versatile as a general, and there are tons of builds you can make with him. I really love this card. 
If you have your own spicy Hamza build, we encourage you to come discuss it with us on our Discord, which is linked down in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to support our channel, the biggest thing you can do is share this video with your friends. Also, if you could subscribe, like, leave a comment, it would really do a lot to help show the YouTube algorithm that our videos are worth watching. My analytics say that like 80% of you guys aren't even subscribed to our channel, so if you're part of that 80%, you know what to do. Once again, we appreciate your viewership, and we'll see you next time.